Today we're going to change the oil in a generator. It's the Predator 3500 watt inverter. So here are the things you'll need for this job and a couple things that'll just make it easier. Oil, gotta have that. 10 millimeter socket, an extension, ratchet, cookie sheet with edges, and a little rug. Okay, the first order of business is you have to tip this up. I don't think it really matters which direction. I just tip it that away. That's what the rug is for. Put a little rug here so I don't bang it all up. Generator weighs about 100 pounds, but it's not too bad if you're just tipping it. Let the wheels hit the rug. Just tip it back like that. Okay, and what we're doing under here is this little rubber plug here. Let's see, I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see it. That guy right there. So you open that up, like so. That's it. Dangles like that. Pat on there. And I lift it to make sure the plug, the little flapper plug, is out of the way. Make sure it's kind of facing that way. Or, yeah, that way. Okay. So once you've got your pan and everything under there, and the little plug thing's open, you take off this little thumb screw from the panel here. Like that. Okay, and then down inside of here, you can see you've got your oil plug. And then that little plug just below it, right there, that's the uh, bolt you have to take out to drain the oil. So here's where you get out your trusty ratchet, your 10 millimeter socket. I don't know if that's in view, yeah. Okay. And your extension, that is necessary actually. Mine's a wobbler, but you don't need a wobbler. You can use a straight extension. Okay, here's the view inside that little door. There's the little oil plug. You know, the filler dealy. And then here's the bolt we're gonna take out. Sorry about the lawnmower noise. I swear my husband cuts the grass every time I'm out here working on something. Break that loose. grabbing it to make sure it doesn't fall down. Okay. And then it drains, but it'll drain faster if you take the plug out. I know this is boring. It's a lot like watching oil drain. You can tip the generator a little bit to encourage it to drain. Like, I don't know if I'll do this without knocking it into the camera, but Ugh, it's too heavy to do with one hand, but if I stand up and do it, but basically just tip it, you know, a little bit until it, it seems like it's done draining. It's pretty much done draining now. Just a couple of drops there. Also, if it's cold out or colder out when you're doing this, run the generator first a little bit to thin the oil out. Like today, it's like 95 here. It, it's roasting out, so this oil is plenty warm. And it drains quickly, but you know if it's in the fall or the winter or whatever when you're going to be doing this, um, make sure you warm the oil up. It just makes it easier. So just take your plug, put it right back in there. I don't know if they make a magnetic plug for these yet. They might, or a uh, a magnetic dipstick. If they do, it's always a good idea to to have those. I I usually put those in things if I can find them. Not only does it pick up chunks of metal, it kind of gives you a, uh, an idea of, of the health of your engine. If you start seeing a lot of metal in there, you might have some problems. There probably is a torque spec for this. I don't have my book on hand, but so I'm going to snug it up. Not terribly tight, because I think that might be an aluminum block in there. So these generators take 20 ounces of oil, uh, according to the book, and your, your oil 
bottle, can, whatever it is. It has the ounces, you know, on the side, so that's kind of handy. Make sure your funnel is clean. Stick it right in there and pour your oil in. An easy way to ballpark how much oil you're putting in. I always put just a tiny bit less, but basically a quart is 32 ounces. Generator takes 20 ounces, you know, get down to the about the 12 ounce mark. I go a little higher and then add a little more if I need to. It's better to add slowly than have to drain some out from it being over full. So you just, you know, twist your plug in and then pull it out and check the level on the, on the plug. I don't know if you can see the oil level on there, probably not, but anyway, it's full. That's really your only like true way to know what, what you've got going on in there. And then just put your side panel back on, flip the generator back up, you know, put your rubber plug back in and you're ready to rock. change your oil in a Predator 3500 generator. If you like this video or any of my other ones, please uh, like my channel, um, consider subscribing. It really helps us small creators out a lot. They demonetized us a while back. I don't even know why. Basically because some person posted a nasty video about some damn thing. I don't know. But anyhow, the rest of us paid the price for it. So if you like my content, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.